For this stem bite, we're gonna look at a real physics mystery in the shower. But when you're in a shower and you've got a shower curtain, sometimes you'll probably notice how the shower curtain kind of sneaks in and tries to get you. It's doing it a little bit right now. You can see that the curtain's kind of moved away from the wall. It's encroaching on my space. Worst part is it feels kind of slimy when it touches you. It's just kind of gross. Oh, it's coming more. Ah, this is my shower. What could possibly cause the curtain to come in so far into the shower? <laughs> it keeps coming. Here's a couple possibilities. One is that the shower water is hot, right? If it's hot in here and it's cold out there, then maybe the air is trying to get in from the outside. If that were the case, then I'd expect if I turned the shower down to cold, maybe the opposite would happen. Let's try it. Yep, it's definitely cold. But the curtain's still here. Ah, it's too cold. <laughs> too cold. So it must not have to do with the temperature. It must be something else. Well, there's this thing you hear about in physics called Bernoulli's principle. It says that anytime air is moving over a surface, it creates a lower pressure area above the surface. If it's higher pressure below, that can cause the surface to go up. So maybe that's what's happening here in the shower. As the water moves, it's lowering the air pressure inside the shower and it causes the air to come from outside. One way to check that would be to interrupt the flow. If I kind of stood here and blocked some of the water, I would expect it to happen less. Some scientists say Bernoulli's principle alone doesn't explain this shower curtain phenomenon. So this simple thing that you can see every morning in the shower still doesn't have a really good scientific explanation. Stand by.